What's up guys and gals? Welcome on back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Planet Base. So bad news, our entire biodome over here got hit by a meteor and it killed like 10 people, so that's fun. I need population really, really badly right now and unfortunately they are just not bringing it home. So I would love to see some of these things get fixed in the near future, but I just, we can't rely on it right now. We really sincerely can't. Like we're pumping out metal and parts and other little things as much as possible. You know what? Set down... We've got plenty of semiconductors. Shut down the semiconductor fab over here. You can keep the guns up and running, but... What I really need are spares. And if we can't get more of those in supply, like, we need guys to go out here and fix some of the stuff that's not working. Got a couple of big ships coming in right now. He is a medical trader. Star Farmer representatives. Okay, well, I don't need you, so go away. What are these exposed wires for on the side of there? Seems risky to me. Seems risky. We've got plenty of microprocessors right now, so we should be able to ride that out for a while. This episode is going to be all about making sure that, like, this stuff gets fixed over here. If we can't make it get fixed, it's going to make our life very, very difficult. And so I figure I actually might put in a couple more mines over on this side. Because these guys, I think, are going to be walking... All the way over there. Did it just go nighttime? And we're already out of like a bunch of power? Oh, that's going to be fun. That's going to be enjoyable. Okay, so let's go with a couple of mines over here, I think. Might not be a terrible plan, like one or two of these little bastards on this side. And you can't make like a big mine, so unfortunately... We've run out of spares. Oh, I can do one over here. I saw it. Come on. I saw you. You can't fool me. Ah, you little bastard. Let's see here. It's going to be one of those days, is it? It's going to be one of those days. Well, if that won't work, can I use one of these extendy pad things over to here to make it work? Seems like a fun plan to me, and so I'm going to go ahead and let it happen. So we are producing spares. The downside here is that we are instantaneously using them up because we're behind the curve on so many things that need to be fixed right now. Like, unfortunately, when we ran out, what it does is it creates, like, a big, big demand for parts. And then the second that you get your parts back in or your spares, you run into some pretty tangled issues trying to get them all nice and fixed up. So for right now, this little factory area over here is more than likely not going to be super profitable because i got to wait for more people to come in. Unfortunately... It is what it is, but I don't need food traders. You get out of here. It's a shame that you get so many, like, bad traders that you don't need in this game. Like, they almost never have anything you actually want. Got a couple more biologists and engineers. Okay, I would have liked workers, but what are our landing permissions right now? Like, what are we looking at here? I don't know if we need more engineers or what we need. Have I ever mentioned how much I strongly dislike the allocation system and how it just like flows one thing to another? It bothers me. It makes me very upset. And so I'm going to go 30. You know what? Just default them. And then from there we'll go like 5% in on biologists. Maybe like, there we go. Nope, that's not what I wanted. That is also not what I wanted. Sure, that works. We got there the long way. That works fine. I You should be able to just set them to zero or whatever. I realize they're trying to get it done as like a percentage or like a ratio right now. There's another worker right there. I just need more ships to come in because we're just now replacing all of the population we lost due to that last meteor strike. There was a ton of people up inside this biodome when that rock hit. Like it killed a lot of people and it was just like shit. It's really the only, that's the only word I had to describe the situation. I'd be like, well that sucks. <laughs> How would you feel if the in-game AI director right now made your base's most populous area get hit by bad things? I'd be like, I would feel pretty negatively about that stimuli, Alec. I would feel pretty negatively about it. Like, okay, so we're going to let that happen now, and I would like to see how you handled this attrition. I'd be like, great. Fantastic. It's bedtime. rock a boy. Get in bed. Or I'll club you with a cudgel. Lullabies are a little bit rougher out here in the frontier. 
We try to get our children prepared for the fact that someday they're going to get sucked out into the vacuum and die as they liquefy from the inside out, and their blood boils and also, you know, melts at the same time. It boils and freezes simultaneously. You know, this would be a good opportunity for me to really fix our material surplus. So, 16 spares is going to put me back quite a bit of cash, but if I can do this in a way that's somewhat efficient, not using a bunch of little stuff, I mean, we can go cash in, I guess. I mean, that'll save us from having to move a bunch of shit around right now. And getting more money is easy enough, like, it's not that big enough, it's not a big deal to get money, it's not that useful. Money is sort of just a currency in this game that allows you to trade instantaneously from your accounts when you really, really need something. And if that'll even that out, didn't I have like a production list around here somewhere? So tax manufacturing limits, there we go. Get me up to 50 spares, please. Semiconductors. I think so long as we have 10 in supply, that's fine. Guns can go to 20. Bots, as long as we have like, I don't know, there's really no need to set a limit right there because it takes so long to produce them that why would you even worry in the first place? How many carrier bots do we have now? We've got to have a whole bunch of hauler bots, don't we? 16 hauler bots. We only have one constructor. The hauler bots actually, there's like, holla when you stand up on the corner. They don't actually haul anything. They just shout at people who are otherwise doing profitable labor with their hands like good workers should. We have lots of extra supplies, so I'd like to sell off some of the food in a little bit. But for right now, I think we're a little bit stuck because every single time I try to sell off a bunch of stuff, i got to wait for them to carry it on out there and it just becomes a giant headache. So, what I could do is I could put another airlock over here to make that a tad easier. Got mines on this side, only one worker in there. So let's say that I put that pad right there. And then, can I go... Ah, it makes more sense now. Okay, it only took me 20 episodes to figure that out. Cool, you can make little extendies to make your life easier. This side of the base appears to be running pretty profitably, and I don't think we need to worry about it for a while. And since I don't feel like ratcheting up my anxiety levels over a video game anyways, I think I'll probably just chill here. I feel good about what we've got going on on most of the corners in the base. Another biologist right there. This guy is some kind of food trader. What are you, some kind of food trader? How much money do you have? Like 80? Okay. Well then, give me all of your caches. I will take them right now in exchange for my lovely vittles. There it is. And so we should only have like 30 or 40 food going over there. As long as you don't trade like 100,000 things, you should be all right. Oh, look at that. The spares blew up. We're actually like producing them now. That'll be fun. Shit. Well, at least there was nobody inside of it because it wasn't nighttime. So all things considered, that was actually really, really lucky. Could have been a lot worse. I hate this lab right here. I really sincerely do. I don't know what it is about the lab rats not liking things in the middle of the room, but I really do feel like they're not making equitable use of the space. That could have been like catastrophic right there had it happened at night when everybody was sleeping. So that one we actually lucked out. I know it seems like a bad thing, but it's actually a good thing. So those right there. Go ahead and link them together. They're going to hold hands. The holding hands minds. So if we have that many carrier bots, hold on. So if I've got 16 carrier bots, it may be time. Why does it say that our happiness is poor right now? That makes me sad. I feel like I do a good job. I do good work. I do good things. So that one's done. Let's get some more driller bots. Let's get some more driller bots. Just restart the work. Ah, damn it. I've been working all day on this stupid robot. Now you can make me restart. I don't understand why you would do this to me. I just don't understand why you would make me go back and then make another robot. Words are funny when you say them with the wrong intonation. You're a guard, aren't you? That's good, though. Tori O'Connor. Like a British action movie star. What's his name? Tori O'Connor. Get the transporter. I think... I've got enough beds on this side. It might be time for me to make some sort of, like... So did that fix itself? I feel like that meter sort of goes up and down, mostly depending on whether or not, yeah, it goes up and down, don't worry about it. So for our prestige to go up further, what do we have to work on? What do you have? Just money and ore? Hmm. I will trade you starches for ores. 
And then I will also trade you... Hmm. What do I want to trade for right now? I mean, I've got a lot of stuff. I just don't want to bog people down with bullshit carrying for long periods of time, you know? Like, I don't even know if that's worth it right there. I might just take the money. Thirty-five percent commission too, so it's not that bad as far as the amount of cash we're making. So there we go. That'll do it. Get our get our cash situation all nice and get ourselves liquid here because that's what I would prefer to do. And I don't mean that I want to melt everybody. What I mean by that is that I just want to be cash rich. It'd be cool if they put like a stock market in this game. This seems like the sort of game that would have like stock markets and things like that. We've got intruders coming on in. So it's time for those new guards that we've got to get murdered. Luckily, our guards appear to be a lot better at shooting than they are, so it seems to work out for us. And then straight off to the infirmary. What are you in for? Infirmary. Alright, so we got that right there. Never dated a girl named Mary. Dated numerous Nicoles. Weird thing, I've got like, Nicole is my Tammy, essentially. Some Christine's in there. That's kind of weird, though, that I date people with the same name now that I think about some Megan's. Megan's a trouble name, though. And I don't mean any insult to anybody named Megan watching the video right now. But never a positive experience with anybody named Megan. Never a positive experience. You guys need to be happier. Why don't you drink more beer? Be more alcoholic. You're like, well, because the beer dispensers don't fill up fast enough, ass. I'm like, fine, then. I'll give you some more beer dispensers. Jesus. You're so passive-aggressive. You just tell me what you need. Like, you don't need to... You can tell me if you desire things that need to be made in order for you to be happy. You know, put in a requisition. Put in a requisition, homie. Don't sit there and be all upset because I didn't do it. I mean, I want that kind of relationship right now. Like, if you don't know, I'm not going to tell you. Like, you guys are the worst. You guys are the worst. This is why we don't hang out, space villagers. This is why we don't hang out. I just stay. What they need in this game now is they need a big office that's yours. Like, technically, you can see your guy in there just hanging out in his office, doing his shit, clocking his game. Running it rowdy and dirty until 30. Running it rowdy and dirty till after 6.30. Alright, so these meteors are getting really sort of close. Can I have somebody shoot the laser? Did... See, the problem that I think we're running into right now... We've been hit by a lot of meteors lately. And I'm thinking it's gotta be... Because we don't have telescope consoles in here or something. More telescopes! And then, I don't know what the radio antenna does, so I'm not going to build one of those. Because everybody knows, the proper scientific rationale is to be terrified of anything that you don't understand or know. These guys have their own beds. Weirdly enough, they're totally okay with sharing a room with six other people. Like, there's like ten square feet of space, and they're okay with sharing it. Luckily, video screen's been built. Okay, plastics look like they're on the decline right now. Nobody's even working any of this, so eh, a little bit of a problem down there. I figure eventually our worker surplus will make its way down there, but I can't guarantee it. Then again, we've got nobody working the plastics either, so... Who even knows anymore? De-escalate that real fast, because we definitely don't need that to be running around the clock. Like, 40-something of those right there. We're looking pretty good. It actually seems like they do better if you set hard limits for the amount of stuff that they're supposed to make. It seems like the game queues out orders a little bit more efficiently when you do it that way. And so if we go, can I go with processing limits or can we only go with manufacturing limits? So for megalomania, we need to build a monolith, consolidation, and technocracy. There we go. Now it's because I must have destroyed my meteor monitoring thing at some point. Must have done something dumb. Either way, if we could shoot down more meteors, we have lost a lot of civilians over the last day or two to just, like, dumb stuff like that. If we had enough materials, I would say that we could probably get down on handling some of this. It looks like we're almost entirely automated with regards to some of these mines. Got another transport ship coming in with another worker and another biologist. He is just going to be a freelance food trader. Okay. I will more than likely just trade in all that to increase our liquidity for right now. 
Right now there's an economist or somebody in finance that's like, I don't think you truly understand what that word means, but you keep using it. Insert Inigo Montoya meme as much as you see fit. I think the big problem here is that this is actually too far away from the nearest supply, and I tried to rectify that by going in this way and trying to make sure that these mines over here would produce, but we're having trouble keeping them stocked with workers as well. Simply due to the fact that we don't have enough carrier bots and we don't have enough driller bots. If we could get a few more of those, I think we'd be in a lot better shape on that side. For right now, though, they're working on stuff. I mean, it seems like we go through feast and famine when it comes to our raw materials. Like, sometimes we have loads and loads and loads of them, and other times we just don't have that many. Now that the spares have been all ironed out, I may actually... Take, like, two of these. And recycle them. And once recycled, I may turn these into semiconductor fabs so that we can make some more of those. Semiconductor fab is done. I'll probably reactivate these and just let people kind of do their thing for right now. Power levels appear to be somewhat manageable for the moment. They're not like amazingly well put together. We do drain batteries pretty quickly, but we make it through the night every night, so I think we should be all right. I do wish that there was an even larger power storage solution, though, because it feels weird just draining these out all the time. Like, it makes you feel like you're doing something wrong because the drain is so rapid. I suppose we could offset that with a little bit more wind power. And so I will consider it along this side. But it's important to recall that we don't have a whole lot of metal right now. And so going just, like, balls deep on construction might be a bad plan. I'm actually just going to focus on cleaning these guys out and making as much money as possible off of each one of their transactions. If you just want to pay me for exports here, I'd be completely and totally okay with it. Like, it would not be something that would upset me. We got enough meat. I think they eat the meat first, all things considered. We got plenty of starches, too. So I should be able to go all in on that. And that'll get us to 396. Okay. Uno mas, and there we go. Another successful trade. I'd like this number to be a little bit more stacked up. As far as the monolith goes, I'll probably put it around here somewhere, but I haven't totally decided where I want it to be just yet. And so I'll put it around somewhere, just not right now. Go ahead and link you in real fast. LinkedIn like professional profiles. Be like, what? DR12 has been damaged irreversibly. Okay. A little bit problematic. I would love to fit another drone repair bay in here. Considering how many robots we're running anymore. Might be a smart idea to throw them in somewhere, but... Let's go ahead and allow these guys to get their job done first. Happiness is at a pretty critical low. It's because they seem to forego everything else in exchange for moving things to the aircraft once they get that far out, which is kind of an odd thing. Like, you would think that you would set parameters on these, and no matter when they get to a certain point, they focus on that no matter what, because right now he's going to get food, even though food is not that big of a concern. Not working on his morale much either. How much are we waiting on over here? 38 more? Oh, good. Well, we got a traffic stop over there. Look at that, like, giant drop-off and stuff that we have every single time that we do this. Oh, look, they're producing guns again. That'll be nice. A couple of semiconductor facilities down in here. I would actually prefer that they be maximum conductor facilities, but you get what I mean. Metal processing units are not really being utilized just yet. Sandstorms here, which will help out a little bit with some of our issues. They already got those erected? Oh, good. They already got those two things taken care of. Well, that sounds absolutely fantastic. Good, good, good. Less parts being used, less things for me to worry about. I'm happy about it. That ship should be up and gone pretty shortly, I hope. These bots need a little bit of help. And so Lino Copeland should be... I love the names in this game. They're like the perfect mix of believable and sci-fi. Looks like he's got a medical issue now. Everybody's got medical issues. That's part of the fun of living here. It's crazy world where everybody's got medical issues that they didn't necessarily disclose on their job application. How excited are you guys to be here right now? we got a bunch of people that need help. You know you can sleep in a hospital bed, right? 
Just trying to make sure that you're aware of this fact. Alright, so I'll probably hold off on trading for a little bit. We've got pretty fat stacks at the moment. We're trying to get them racks all nice and lined up. And it's looking good to me. It's looking good to you. It's looking good to me. It's 2 in the morning, and I really got to pee. I hate that. When you wake up hella early in the morning, you got to pee super bad because, like, you drank a bunch of sodas before you went to bed and just, like, didn't even think about it. Wasn't I leaving that open right there so that I could, like, go around the curve or something? Either way, we'll go in on that one right there, too. If I can get more of these personal cabins, these are nice because they're a double whammy. They fill up two meters at once, which is always pleasurable and pleasing. So two meters at once always makes me happy. Absolutely zero wind right now. Could probably get away with another cabin up here, too, if we really wanted to squish stuff in. Just squoosh like a little one in right there to save five lucky customers the giant walk of having to go back over to here or wherever else they're going. Oh, no. Solar flare imminent. Let's get everybody in the base, please. We've got a lot of invaders right now. They really do not like the working class. Damn aristocracy. I'm like, take that worker! Only in this world we have an insurgency against people who work hard. <laughs> Be more lazy or I'll murder you. God. <laughs> yeah, if you got caught out that far during the solar flare, I don't think you're going to make it, G. You might want to find yourself a medical professional sooner rather than later. We might want to build another infirmary, too. How are we doing as far as workers here? We got 17 medics, 18 guards. You know, I think we've done a really good job this entire game of making sure our ratios never get out of control. Like, I always feel good about what we do and don't have. A little bit of work to be done right there. Looks like those are nice and spun up, which is always something that I appreciate. That's how fast I like to see my batteries fill up. That's how fast I like to see my batteries fill up. On this side, eh. I could collapse that and I could build a little bit in this direction and then build like several airlocks right here that all connect to like one hub. Like let's say for a moment that I do oxygen generator, oxygen generator, and then like four airlocks right here so everybody, they can go out here way, way faster. Make that a little bit more efficient. Because the stop gap on us moving stuff out to ships is almost 100% just like us banging our head against airlocks. What is this right here? Another cabin? This banged out real fast. There we go. Now I'll do it quicker. You can shift click if you want to place multiple of the same object, by the way. Just in case you hadn't realized it or don't care or whatever, you know, you can make that happen, Captain. Hopefully our food supply stays good. That discovery of GM growth products is like the greatest thing. Wow. That was really close. Like all these people sleeping in this house right here probably just wet themselves if they were actually awake, but they slept through the whole thing. It's like when you sleep through an earthquake and everybody tells you it happened, but you weren't there. So you're like, oh, I slept through an earthquake. Cool. This should fill up very shortly. A couple of really lucky biologists are going to land themselves. And I hope it assigns these by proximity, by the way. Like, by proximity of assigned job or something. If it just assigns random people, it's a little troublesome. Just put sleeping cabins everywhere that I can. Cool. I feel, I feel really, really good about the construction of this base. I think we're about out of time for the day. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the NerdCast for the next episode of Planet Base. I hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough. I'm finding the game to be a blast. I will see you all next time. Hi, do everybody.